Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I am having a little play. Now Andy bought me some um, UV resin for my birthday. And it's the one that you don't mix. It's one that you need one of these little um, lights for. Um, so it's one that sort of like sets your nails when you do nail varnish, gel nail polish. Um, so I thought I would have a play. So what I have been doing, I've used my butterflies and I've made some lovely little paper clips. Now these are really, really hard and I am just loving them. Absolutely loving them. I've got some little gems on there. I've just set them within the in the little, um, with the UV resin um, and actually added the paper clip to it and they are absolutely gorgeous really really hard really hard um, I've got some of my little flowers and I put some little gems in the middle which I just I think these are just so so pretty I wanted to have a test of it and I also wanted to make some like little charms as well um, which I've done I put some mix some of the resin with some uh, mica powders which looks really nice it's almost like enamel um, and I'm just loving it and these ones I've done as well um, I've done these ones which are the little ones and they're hard so I thought these would look really nice if you had like a little picture frame because they're hard they're not paper they're not going to bend um, and you could just stick them on little frames um, on the fronts of your journals I made little dingly danglies of course um, but I just think they are lovely and on this one I've added one to a little charm so you could add them to charms and you know that they're not going to um, rip or anything like that they're just really really lovely so I'm going to show you it's not a quick process um, to start with I'm going to pop those up over there so we're going to show you this might be a little bit of a longer video now what you need to do I have got my little butterflies I've also got some of my little um, daisies here as well <coughs> excuse me um, and what you need to do is coat these first with some Mod Podge which I've just got the matte Mod Podge um, and you want to do two layers on it so you want two layers on the front and two layers on the back okay and that will stop the resin sort of soaking into the paper and making your print um, all funny you want to keep this nice color to your prints um, because as you can see on here the color hasn't changed at all um, and especially on this lovely little red flower you can see that the color hasn't changed um, it means that it's not going to go all mushy and horrible so you want to do two layers and I'm just going to show you quickly how you do that so I have got two of my butterflies here I'm going to take a little bit of the Mod Podge I've got a paintbrush I'm just going to paint it on okay now you want to make sure you want to just a couple of thin layers of it okay let me just get my pokey tool here and make sure you get the edges okay just around the edges like that again on this one here hold it down a little bit of Mod Podge it's only to seal it you can use other glue you could probably use some tacky glue but I'm just going to use the Mod Podge because this is sort of like decoupage glue um, so we know that it seals it nicely okay now I move mine because if you pick it up and move it it's not going to stick to the paper and all I've got down here is some baking paper now you want to do two on the front and two on the back and then this is what you will end up with a nice um, coated butterfly or whatever you're going to use so leave those dry make sure they are dry completely okay so that is your first step and then what we are going to do I've made these little um, things to put in my um, UV lamp okay I'll link the lamp under the video and I'll also link the UV resin now this UV resin I think they all do have an odor it's not supposed to let's have a look this is the box here okay it's crystal clear it's fast curing resistance to yellowing high gloss toxic free toxic free it's not because it does smell so make sure I'm using a mask um, but 
also make sure you have a, your window open less bubbles and no shrinking so it is a really really good one it's a really nice one but do have make sure you um, are wearing a mask or you have you know your windows open because it does smell a little bit and also I've got here I've got a bit of baking sheet on a piece of card and then I've just sellotaped it on that's just so I can pop it in and out of the machine okay so let's do a nice big purple one so I'm just going to pop that onto there. I'm going to take my UV resin. Okay, I'm going to hold it down with, with my little um, awl. Just pop a little bit on there like that. Okay, now I've got these lovely little um, tweezers and they came with my little gems. And they've got a nice, very, very fine tip to them. And then all I'm going to do is move the... Um, resin around your little butterfly okay you can pick it up like that and just spread it around just a little um, layer of it over the top okay like this make sure you've got a nice thin thin layer do this side as well you want to do this on the front and the back okay don't worry too much about the first layer because we can put another one on there as well. And I'm going to add some gems now. I'm going to pop that down. Now I'm going to get a piece of tissue paper and just make sure everything is cleaned off. Okay. I'm going to take my little machine. I'm going to pop that inside. I'm going to pop it in there for a minute. Okay, let's pop that to the side. I've got another one here. So let's do a daisy, shall we? same again open it up pop a little bit on i'm just going to put my mask on a minute because it is a bit smelly so i might sound a bit muffled so i'm just going to pop this over like this the resin doesn't take long i put it in the machine probably for two three minutes um at a time not at a time there's sort of like the machine's got 30 seconds 60 seconds and then 99 seconds like that so i'm just going to make sure that is covered like this all the way around like that and just pop it on there clean these off so nothing is sticky and then I'm going to pop this one in the machine as well so next to my little butterfly you can see just pop that in there like that and on these ones look I've got my little gems inside and I think they look really really nice so I'm going to pop some little gems onto my butterfly now so here we go, that is, turn that back on again, pretty hard there. Now the first layer I find that it's still quite flexible um, and you've still got a little bit there where I've missed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop another layer on, just a little one, don't need to use too much. Make sure you get rid of those little bubbles coming out. Another little bit on there like that going to take my tweezers and then just cover it again just a nice thin layer like this you want to do this on the back as well and to make some little dingly danglies and some little charms if you make like um, little um, charms to go onto little key rings these are absolutely perfect like this. It's not the cheapest of crafts, so this is why it's taken me a little while to do it. Not something that I would sort of like think of. I waited for my birthday as a nice little surprise, which was nice. Um, like that. So let's just wipe this off. You should really wear gloves, but I'm not actually touching it. So 
I'm going to pop a couple of little gems on here just on the little middle of the butterfly I just love these gems pop that down oops if I can pick it up oopsie daisy there we go so that just sort of like fits three on there lovely like that perfect now I'm going to pop this under the machine again take my little daisy out pop you under there so if you have two of these you can do sort of like two things at once you can pop them in there look at that isn't that gorgeous well I need those because I'm going to pop some little gems in the middle so again I'm going to pop just another thin layer over the top I think this will probably last quite a long time and just let me hold it it's a lot easier if you sort of can pick it up because you can go right to the edges like that just spread it out nicely so any of your I, any of your little embellishments you can pop resin over so that gives your paper craft a completely new um, look doesn't it as well so all your lovely favorite little flowers and butterflies can be turned into something sort of permanent let's make sure wipe this off again so it's not sticky and I'm just going to pop some little gems in the middle let me see if I've got one which has got bigger ones in it let's go around this way this one's got Maybe this one has got a few bigger ones that I can use. Look at this one. Some nice big ones in here. Just a nice mix, I think. They're up the right way. Again, obviously you don't have to put these little ones in there you can pop whatever you like and have little obviously they're going to be sort of like flat backed but you can have your little flat back pearls and things like that you could probably even put little sequins in there oops and a little one there and I'm gonna put you I just hold you down so we can pop them around like that perfect wipe these off it's our little butterfly pop our little daisy in there there's our lovely little butterfly look and then I'm going to turn him over and what I'm going to do let me get a little bit going to take a little bit of this um, parchment paper just like that pop that down I'm going to pop some resin on here and I'm going to mix in just a little bit like that I'm going to mix mix in some mica powders now I'm using the Arteza ones here like these so I'm going to use this one which is called bubble gum which is I think I've put on the back of there it's got a slight sort of like hinty pinky color to it comes out quite vibrant on here though just pop a little bit of the powder on there take something and just mix it up you could probably use little toothpicks and stuff which you can just throw away so I'm just going to mix this up like this again you could use glitter or all, all sorts of things to mix up in your resin like that and then I'm just going to take this take my little tweezers and just pop it over the top like that so let me just turn that back on again 
So this is great fun. Loving it. So it's Sunday today, so I thought I would get it out and have a play. Because I haven't really had time to um, make anything with it. I did have some of the resin which you mix. Um, and you bought me that for Christmas. And that has the moulds in it as well. Um, so I really need to have a go at that. But I'm quite impatient. And you have to leave that overnight to cure. Or even longer, depending how big a project you're doing. But this one is sort of almost instant, isn't it? So there we go. That's the back. So I don't know whether you can see how sort of iridescent that is on there. I hope you can sort of pick that up. Let me just wipe this off. And wipe this one off. I'm going to take my little daisy out and I'm going to pop my butterfly in. So let's have a look. Is that dry? Yes. If it feels tacky, if you've got some of this and it feels tacky, it means you need to pop it back in again. Okay. I'm just going to turn this one over. I think I will add just a little bit more to here. And we can use this as well, can't we? On the back, let's have a little bit more of this bubble gum. Just a tiny little sprinkle. Again, mix it all up together. Like this. Then we can just scoop it off and pop it onto here. Let's just move it here. There we go. Just move it around. It's probably not the best colour for me to use because you probably can't see what I'm doing. But I'm just covering the surface so it's just got a nice fine layer over the top. Like that. Turn it round. Just pop it over. Just a nice thin layer. Like that. Perfect. Make sure you get right to the edge. Let me just wipe that off. And we're going to pop that underneath in our little um, UV lamp under there. So let's leave that for a minute. Let's just pop those on. Now, what I want to do... Oh, just dip my finger in it. It's not a good idea. Now, what I would like to show you is, look at these, how you would put it onto a paper clip. Now, I've got some paper clips here. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to turn it over, and what I'm going to do is just pop that onto the back like that. And then you add a little bit of UV gel on there, resin on there, pop it under the lamp, and then it goes hard like that. And that is absolutely perfect. Let's have a look. I've got my little book here. Let me just show you. Look at that. Don't they just look lovely? And you know they're not going to bend. They're not going to buckle. Um, I think they are just so pretty. And this is one of the little flowers from my journal kit. The shabby journal kit. Just love them. Just think they are just so pretty. And it's something a little bit different. Um, and little dingly danglies look fabulous. Okay, so let's see how our butterfly is doing. There we go. A little bit tacky. Look at that. So what we're going to do with this one, we're going to pop a little bit of the UV gel on here. Get rid of the bubble. Just there like that. Pop our, maybe I'll go for a bigger one because this is a bigger butterfly so I think I might just go for a bigger paper clip let's go make sure we've got enough room to put the paper clip on just like that up a little bit over the top like that 
that and that will hold it on. You can move this around if you want to, but just like that. Pop that under our little machine. Let's see how our little daisies get it on. Look at that. <gasps> just gorgeous, aren't they? Again, turn it over. Take a little paper clip going to use the rest of this one I think oh no look maybe not I think I left that a little bit too long we shall just pop a little bit of this on like this pop that paper clip on and then we need to pop that under the machine under the light just like that which is just perfect now I am just loving these now I'm going to throw this piece away like that wipe all these bits and pieces off now I'm going to show you how to make the little dingly dangly here this little one here so what I did I took one of my little um, butterflies that was quite hard and um, all as I did, now I need something underneath it really so I don't go through my table. Let's use this piece. I've taken one of these and I've just made a little hole through it. Okay, now the bigger the butterfly, you could probably make, do it with your punch, which I will try in a minute. So we'll make a little hole in there. I'll get my little jump rings here, take that, let me find my little pliers, there they are, open this up, hang it on there and then take whatever you want to hang it from and then put it on there like that and then look at that just gorgeous isn't it remember having that hanging from your journal from the side of your journal nice little butterfly dingly dangly just gorgeous okay let's see how our little things are getting on look at that look at that isn't that just lovely? And this one here. So, so simple, but just gorgeous. Now, if you want to keep them in there a little bit longer, I would. That's still a little bit tacky, so I'm going to pop both of them on there. Just for a little bit longer, I think. Shall we do another one? Let's have a nice one here. So again, we pop it on there, take our UV. I wonder if we could add a little bit of something to this one. Let's just, just mix some gel on here, shall we? And cover that. What should we cover it with? We've got sort of like a bit of that. What colour should we do? Should we just do it like a little, this is like a champagne. You think that might cover it up too much, mightn't it? Shall we see? Maybe a little bit of glitter. Do you think glitter would work? Hang on, two seconds. Look, this is came in my other UV set, the one that I mixed. Let me just see what the time is. So let me just open that up going to let's see I need to just just sprinkle a little bit in there let's see if we can give it a little shiny butterfly now this is just like a little um, crystally one turn that back on let's see if we can have a nice little shiny glittery butterfly Okay. 
Oh, look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? Turn it round. A little bit more. Oh, I love the glitter. Let's put that on there. Put that down. Let's wipe that off. Now we need to put you this way because we're going to get stuck on that little bit of glitter there. Right, let's take our little paper clips out, pop our little butterfly in. There we go. Lovely. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Right, I'm going to do another butterfly because I do like that. Let's have a little one. I do like this shiny glittery one. Take the rest of this. Pop it on top. Like that. I was cutting out these. I was fussy cutting last night actually watching the telly. And I just thought, oh, maybe I will try and um, make them, turn them into little resin butterflies. Oh, love that. Just gorgeous. The little one there. Pop you in there. Good to have two pieces that you can work on, isn't it? So you can do... We'll turn it. Wow, love that. Isn't that just gorgeous? So I think I'm going to have to put that on the back as well. That's just a little bit on here. Could probably do this with all the fussy cuts, couldn't we? Well, not all the fussy cuts, but a lot of your pretty fussy cuts you could do this with and make permanent little um, dingly danglies or you could actually, I'll tell you what, you could probably put um, a little magnet on the back as well I wonder if that would work, let's see I'll pick it up I think I find it easier to pick it up to do this because then you can go right to the edge without sort of like getting it all over your work surface or anything like that. Take this side. One here. There we go. Perfect. Going to Let's just move you over a little bit. Wipe this off. Wipe these off. Pop you under there. Let me take this little butterfly out. Oh, they're gorgeous. That's just still a little bit flexible. So if you wanted to bend it or make it flat or whatever, you still can. Love it. Let's do the back. Take this off. Hold it down. I will do a close-up of these at the end of the video. Some close-up pictures because I just love them. Um, and I'll probably put them on my Instagram or TikTok as well. So do go and have a look. Because um, sometimes it's difficult on the videos to actually see it properly. To get such a good close-up. So wipe this off and you can go in here how is this one doing oh that's not too bad is it let's pop you underneath then take you out look at that beautiful can you see that I hope that's in shot love it absolutely gorgeous Okay, shall we pop some little Jimmy things on here? Could actually, let's put a little bit of this. So we've got some left. Let's pop a little bit more on here just to stick the gems on. 
get a little layer over it again. A little bit more. It's all practice, so if I'm doing anything wrong, please let me know um, if you use resin yourselves. Because I have, this is just sort of like practice for me. I have no idea, but it seems to be coming out okay, doesn't it? So yes, if you have any tips for me, please let me know. Let's take these, let's take a few of the little gems. Let's move you up so you can see. Oops, jumping around. Oopsie daisy. Turn that back on. You're not doing as you're told. There we go. Just pop that one on there. you on there. Take you out, swap you over. Wow, I'm just loving these. Sorry if I sound very excited, but I do. I'm going to pop a little bit of the clear one on because I've run out of the um, sparkly. Just a little bit of the clear, just so we can pop a little gem on here as well. Just like that. Beautiful. Yes, I do love the iridescent glitter. It's very much like um, stickles, isn't it? And I do love my stickles. What can be better? Butterflies and little um, bits of glitter. Beautiful. Okay. Wipe these off. Let's stick a little gem on here. Oops. Oops. A couple of these. I might have to invest in getting some lovely little coloured gems. I think. I can't pick that one up. Let's try another little pot. I'm not very good at this. One more. Gosh, come on, there we go. Make sure they're all level. Hope I'm in shot. I do apologise if I'm out. Look at that. <gasps> Super duper. There we go. There we are. There we go. There we go. Now I think I need to pop that in a little bit longer. Like that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now, have I got a bigger one here? I don't think I have. I've got this one, which I might see if I can pop a hole with the crocodile on there to see how hard it is. Just to see if I can make a hole. Or maybe I could just use my little hole punch here. Just, oh, there we go. Perfect, if that will come off. There we are. Little hole, and you know that's not going to rip because we've got a nice little shiny thing there because it's hard. <coughs> Excuse me, let's take a little jump ring like this. If I can find the opening, or maybe I'll use my little brassy ones, bronzy ones. Where are they? I will use one of these like this. Pop that in. And I'm going to get a little clip one. Like I did. I might actually use. I'm quite liking this chain and stuff, all these little bits and pieces at the moment. I think once you start using something you want to you sort of like think of other ideas don't you so I'm going to just clip that off like that 
I need another jump ring, I think. Pop that round. What lovely gifts these would make, wouldn't they? Beautiful little key rings. You can make proper key rings out of your lovely little paper embellishments now. Put that on there. Look at that. Ah, oh, love it. Isn't that just gorgeous? You could pop little beads on there as well. Love them. Okay, let's see how our other little butterflies are doing. See what we've got here. Look at that. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? Love them. So I'm going to make these ones into, I really need one of these, some paper clips. You can never have too many paper clips, I don't, I think. Let's have just, these are just one inch paper clips and the bigger one is a two inch paper clip. So you can see the difference here, look, can't you? So, love them. Let's put that in there little bit of this gel on here just around there a little bit on this one just pop that on and here perfect pop that in the machine just sit in there for a little bit and there we go so these little bits like I said before it's just a bit of parchment paper on a bit of card which um, and I put some parchment just to protect my desk um, but I think they're lovely so there we go guys I've got all of these beautiful little embellishments and I'm sure I will be doing it with different ones let me take my mask off I don't need that on now <coughs> Look at these, oh, love them, love, love, love them, love the daisy. So these are going to have to go into the daisy journal. Maybe I'll make a little dingly dangly with the daisies, but I am loving them. So this one, I've just put some champagne um, colour mica powders on that one. So if you've just got a white background on the back, you can just pop a little bit of coloured mica powders on them, but just love them. And look, if you want to make a dingly dangly, fabulous. And you know that they're going to just sort of like not um, squash or anything like that. And then we've got the little ones, which I think would look lovely on the little picture frame. Wouldn't they? Absolutely beautiful. And these are the ones. So don't forget, if you want to do it, you must protect your piece of paper. So put a couple of layers of Mod Podge on either side. Let it dry nicely to make sure it's really dry before you start doing it. And then that will save the colour. So it's not going to go all um, mushy on you. And it will look lovely because look, fabulous colours, aren't they? They've stayed really, really vibrant. So let's have a look. We might need to probably put those in a little bit more. But for now, just to show you, they are beautiful. Look at that. <gasps> Love the shiny. Look at those. Just gorgeous. So there we go, guys. A, another little play today. Something a little bit different. Again, I will pop the links if you want to have a go or you just wanted to see what it's like. Um this is what it is it's a uv resin i'm not 100 percent sure how much it is it's not majorly expensive um this is just 100 grams in here so it's not really really expensive and this little uv lamp was only like under 10 euros so it's not you can have them make really expensive ones but to start off with you don't need anything expensive so for under 20 euros you could probably get your uv resin and a lamp um and then all your little embellishments. So if you wanted to um, save up and do that, it is fun. Lots and lots of fun. So I'm going to think of other things that I can do with it um, to pop into our journals. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Please stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. 
Alright guys, bye bye.